Hello everyone, welcome to Tech Successors Power of Next Gen Technologies. In previous session, we discussed about how to extract data from the PDF and object one. So today we are going to discuss how to working with files and folders. Okay. So today we are going to do a small task. Here I am providing the description. The task description is we need to copy all the files of a folder that are more than 5 MB in size to another location and zip all the copied files with the current date as the zip file format. So first thing is we have to select our source folder from there we need to copy the files which are more than 5 MB that means the files which should be at least 5 MB or more than 5 MB we will consider like this ok. So then we need to copy all those files to another folder then we need to zip all those files which are copied ok. So, and the zip file name should be the current date. Okay, that is our today's task. So, let's go how we will go to do. First, we will check whether do we have the family files or not. So, here I have two folders. Uh, my file is source. So, here I have, I don't have MB files. So, I will consider that one as 1MB instead of 5MB. So, here we have the files are they more than 5 MB, sorry 1 MB as well as less than 5 MB. So I will consider it as 1 MB. So we will do that. So I am going with task data. So in our task we need to copy the files which are more than 1 MB irrespective of format that is whether that may be PDF file that may be text file that may be some other whatever it may be ok. So for that I am going with the files and folders and I am going with copy files command. So here I am selecting the source file location so going with the source folder ok I am selecting the file name here so later that what I will do is I will remove this file name I will say start dot start <coughs> so that represents any file and any format ok and I am going and I am going to say destination folder so those files should copy to here ok we are copying but how can you define the size so for that and I am selecting the override files if already any file is existing in destination folder with that particular name that will override without showing any error so that's the reason I am selecting override the files so here I need to go with this command so at least 1 MB so we need to give it in KB so 1024 second less 1024 ok up to now 
thus happen later that we need to zip all copied files into current date so i am going to the zip and now i am selecting the folder so because our copied files will be destination folder so that's the reason here file type here i am saying optional so it will zip all the things and now i'm going to say where it should be zip means i'll say destination only so again i'm going to desktop here and i'm selecting destination here all the files will zip so i'll give some other name for demonstration purpose then i'll change it okay so now we need to change it as <coughs> current date right so we have system variables to rep represent date so we have one system variable date but if we use this date variable this will give the date in this format how means so day but month but year year so this is not the accepting file format if you are providing naming convention to any file the file name won't con consider this box okay so that is the reason you should not go with this date variable so what is the alternate way means okay minimize this as of now i am removing this and i'll say like this so i'll say day so it will give the current day so what is the day today i think 11th or 12th yeah 12th august <coughs> so in our mission we have 11 so today day is 11 next month month after that again underscore and i am giving year This is our task. Okay. So I am saving it. Files task. and it will it will work out this no any errors will check it i'm going to run it <coughs> so the task has been executed successfully so let's see whether we got the expected output or not so we got all the files which are at least 1 mb so here if you see it's copied only more than 1 mb files only then it's created the expected zip folder with expected naming convention okay let's see whether it's zipped all the files or not see it zipped the all the destination folder so it will have all the files we will check here it has eight items go to destination folder it has nine items so if you <coughs> eliminate this zip file so it has eight items so the count has been matched so that is about working with files and folders so actually here we discussed how to copy the files on size base basically that is a conditional base and how can we zip that files and here we came to know how can we use the system variables as well the date format system variables how will we ask the date variable and how will we ask other date format variable so that is about our today's session okay
Thanks for watching our videos. Please subscribe and click on bell icon to get regular notifications.